Hi, welcome back. Let's talk about how to use recipes in Orchard. The initial list of recipes contain the following recipes. First is the default recipe. The default recipe for an Orchard website includes pages, blogs, custom content types, comments, tags, widgets, and basic navigation. Second is the blog recipe. The blog recipe provides an installation profile with features for a personal blog. The third is the core recipe. The core recipe provides the Orchard framework with limited end user functionality that can be used during development so that the Orchard web developer can use Orchard to develop their own functionality. After you choose a recipe, click finish setup and Orchard will create the website using the selected recipe and open the home page. Let's try it. I have already installed uh, Orchard. Let's click OK and WebMatrix will open Orchard and it will open the web browser and it will open the page, uh, the installation page where we can select the recipe. Let's give it a name default recipe. Now the default recipe. The default recipe for an Orchard site that includes pages, blogs, custom content types, tags, uh, comments, widgets and basic navigation. Let's give a password. And finish setup. Now Orchard will use the default recipe and it will create a website for us and it will enable the pages module, it will enable the blogs module, it will enable the custom content types and uh, comments, tags, widgets and the navigation system in Orchard. Now let's go to the dashboard and it has enabled the content types, it has enabled the blogs, comments, widgets, navigation, tags and many other things like uh, the, the, the workflows and queries and the projection feature in Orchard. Now this was a demo for the default recipe. Let's have a demo for the block recipe. Let's close the browser. Let's close web matrix and let's this this installation is for the blog recipe. Let's click OK and the browser will open the installation page. This time we'll select the blog recipe, a recipe providing the features you need to need for a professional blog site. Blog recipe. We'll give a password and finish setup. Now Orchard will use the blog recipe and it will enable the blog feature only and not other modules or features in Orchard. Let's go to dashboard. Now we don't see the content type uh, feature enabled for this Orchard setup. And we, we don't see the projection page for this setup. So we only have the blogs feature enabled for this website because we had used the blog recipe for creating this website. Let's close this. Let's close web matrix. Now this installation is for the core recipe. Let's open it. We'll do the same thing. We'll give a name, core recipe. And we'll give a password. And this time we'll select the core recipe. A recipe providing only the core Orchard framework with limited end user functionality this is useful for development scenarios. Let's click finish. Now Orchard will not enable uh, any of the features in Orchard because we are using the core recipe. See, you, we, we don't see the theme. It's using, it's using the admin uh, theme. It's not even using the theme machine theme. Uh, sorry, this is not an admin theme. This is a safe mode theme for Orchard. Let's click dashboard. And we don't see the content types, we don't see 
the projection page, we don't see the blogs, we only see the themes and modules. So this, this was a demo for using recipes in Orchard. In the next video, we'll talk about how recipes work in Orchard. So thank you.